Could they be the murderer's boots? Louis, I got the perfect day, and uh, here we go. It's a huge setup today, uh, one of the bigger ones. Uh, I've got about eight mics that I'm going to put out in these culverts and, and one underwater and uh, just a lot of setup because I'm going to be broadcasting and recording at the same time. So i got three things I'm going to do today. One is make a soundtrack for the short film that's already edited and ready to go. The second thing is to do the loops and the samples and broadcast and, and just basically play around with that. That's the main thing really. And the third thing is the IR um, in pulse response, so I'll be doing some of that as well. Um, I might come back for the IR uh, with a ribbon mic, I'm not sure, but I'm, I was practicing last night and with the four track, wow, it's, I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to it. It's a big setup. If you want to go back and watch the manhunt man and scout video that I made of this location, um, you'll know that there was a murderer um, being chased for about two days. And the, the outcome of that is they did catch him. They caught him at a farm not too far from here, uh, probably about a five minute drive. I think it was a farm. We don't still don't have a lot of information, but he killed his dad and obviously he's in prison. So um, this place is now, now clear of any homicide. I love this place because there's nobody around here. You get the odd pickup truck and they slow down at the bridge, but I mean, that's about it. I'll be able to do like long, long takes and not worry about traffic. Okay, we are here and the creek looks good. All right, it's the, the mic placement time um, and I don't want to get the cables wet. So I think I got a plan. I'm um, going to do some daisy chaining using cymbal stands and mic stands. Had a bit of a disaster, um, not too bad, but uh, stringing the mic cables up underneath there and the sagging, uh, the stands fell. The mics weren't up, which is great, but it's made me change my approach into uh, miking, which could be good. Um, we'll never know really because I'm gonna have to commit to one way or another. Okay, I've got it pretty much set up, all the mics anyway. I'm gonna plug in the computer and, and get, get some levels. Quite a job to get to this point. Um, I have two large condenser microphones at the end of the culvert, of each culvert kicking towards the broadcast area. And uh, I've got two 58s that will be using the cloud lifter to boost at 25 dB and it's pointing towards the large condenser mics, so it's kind of bookending each other, those two microphones. And I've got closed mics. Um, I, didn't, I didn't anticipate this, but I thought it would be a good idea for mixing, so right on the speakers. I also have two shotgun microphones that are in the, in the bush. Uh, well, I've got one hooked up now facing the whole mouth of the culvert, and the other the eighth channel that I have is um, the hydro microphone, which is you know, the, the, the hydro mic is submerged, and it, I'm going to see how it works. Um, I want I'm curious about the bass response with it underwater. Um, if it doesn't work so much, I'll hook up the other shotgun microphone facing the other culvert. So in total, I have eight microphones, and uh, I'm about ready to. Hook them all up now into the interface and plug in the solar panel and get to work, really. All right, the, uh, all the mics are plugged in, everything's working, except for the hydro microphone. Uh, I think it's punched. I'm not surprised, it was starting to buzz um, last time I used it, and it's got a real hum on it, so it's been submerged a lot, and it's, I made it myself, so I'm gonna have to, uh, make another one. I'd probably make a couple actually as it goes. Quick tour of the studio set up today at the culverts. Um, I've got the speakers are rigged with rope hanging down, suspended, rigged. That was a fairly easy job actually. I thought it was going to be the hardest 
and I've got the solar panel which is powering the lithium battery which is running the whole show here the Yeti 400 and I've got my cloud lifter that is powering the 58s uh, boosting it up 25 dB and the fire studio is my eight inputs and all my mic pre's are there and I've got Logic Pro running in my uh, homemade visor on the MacBook and the star of the show is the 424 Tascam. It is a Porta Studio and it is a lot of fun. Cassette four track recorder and right and left going to each speaker and there we have it. That's pretty much the whole scene here at the Beaver Pond. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I got to do some EQing on the amps. Uh, there's quite a, a boom around the 250 uh, or ish, so I got I got to figure that one out. Sound check start, turns into the performance as it kind of often does. I just started uh, getting some sounds and just started mixing and recording because it was happening. The panning is really the uh, star of the day because just making those culverts speak with the four track is 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 really uh, is what's tri it's tripping me out. I have to say it's it's actually tripping me out. Four hours to set this baby up. Uh, I've almost finished the soundtrack and I'm going to go on to uh, the loops and samples and uh, take it from there. So I've got about 45 minutes worth of uh, cassette tape to go through now. I'm having a ball today. This is amazing. I'm in a tunnel. I'm in two tunnels. Well, there's a, a mountain of a lot of mixing ahead of me. And I am really tired, but I just kept going today and uh, looking forward to the results. <laughs> 